Hello, my name is Natalie and I'm the interpretation intern here at RBG. Today we're going to be talking about caring for your Christmas cactus. These are popular holiday plants with beautiful blooms and can live a very long time if properly taken care of. I'm here today with Chris Tarrant who is going to give us some tips on how to keep your Christmas cactus healthy and have it rebloom again for next year's holiday season. Okay, so our first question is Christmas cactus are sometimes called Christmas cactus, Easter cactus, and Thanksgiving cactus. They all seem to look similar. Is there a difference between the plants? They are all of the same family, but they have all slightly different responses to day length. Um, the one that we are quite commonly used to is the Thanksgiving one. That has a very uh, elongated leaf and has little claws uh, going up the side, of the side of the leaf. The Christmas cactus tends to be more of a teardrop shape and doesn't have the claws on the leaves. And the Easter cactus, which is, you don't really see a lot of those anymore, but when you do see them, they're almost round and have very have no bumps or no claws, no bumps on the sides of the leaves. But they all are a Christmas cactus, the, the Schlumbergia truncata, but they all have different day length response times. So this is the Thanksgiving cactus, the uh, Schlumbergia truncata, and this is very evident with these claws right here that you can see that this indicates the type, the variety the, that you have. If it were a, um, a Christmas cactus, these claws wouldn't exist. It would be a little bump on the side of the leaf, and then if it, and a teardrop shape, not a elongated, elongated shape. And then if it was an Easter cactus, it would be a round one with no bumps on the side whatsoever. So, Christmas cactus typically blooms sometime between November and January. Once it's finished blooming, then it needs to go into a rest period. The rest period needs to be about six to 10 weeks. It needs to be in a cool, dark room and watering to a minimum, which is counter, or counterproductive to what you do with it in the summertime. But you must keep it on the drier side and you mustn't fertilize it. You must give it a good rest and the lowest temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius. After the six to 10 weeks, our day, times, our day length tends to get a little longer and the plant starts to show visible signs of wanting to grow. That's when you start rehydrating it and you start to fertilize it and keep it growing between 19 and 21 degrees Celsius in an east window or a west window or a north window, but preferably not a south. If you have to put it in a south window, because that's the only window you have in your house, you must put it in direct. It must be indirect light because too much sun will scorch the plant. With watering, the Swanberges or Christmas cactus do not like to be kept on the dry side once they're actively growing. So it's not the same as a cactus. So it's not even in the cactus family. It comes from Southeast Brazil. So it's a subtropical plant. So the root ball needs to be moist all the time, but not overly moist. So you fully saturate it, allow free drainage every time you hydrate it. And once it's saturated, then you can put it back into your source or, or into whatever container you've got in the house. And then when the top inch or so of the soil is starting to dry out again, then you can rehydrate again the same way. Any excess drying of the plant while it's coming into bud, all of the buds over a 24 hour period will all drop off. It's like your hair falling out, it's terrible. And it's not, you can't make them come back. So you have to go through the whole blooming cycle again, which is another 12 weeks. So in your advantage not to dry the plant out. Once my cactus has bloomed for the season, how do I get my Christmas cactus to rebloom next year? When do I need to start this process so it blooms for the holidays? To get the plant to bloom, they're photoperiodic. So this means that they respond to day length. The Christmas cactus uh, species needs to have a minimum of 12 hours darkness to set bud. So what happens is it must be in a room that doesn't get any artificial light. So when you come home at night, you don't turn the light on in the room where it is, but I put it in a room which just gets natural daylight and then it will bloom for you all on its own. However, if you have to have it in a room where you have to turn the lights on, then you need to put a box over it at five o'clock in the evening and take it off at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. So it gets the uninterrupted darkness. One of the downsides to putting it into a window is that because they're sensitive to the day length, 
I've seen it many, many times and I've been asked quite often, why is half of my cactus flowering and the other half is not? And this is because any artificial light overnight. So if you have it in your home, on a window, lights are off, everything's fine, but it's in a window that faces the street and the street light's on, the street light will cause that half of the plant to stay in vegetative mode. It will not bloom. So it's important that you make sure that it doesn't get any artificial light transferring onto it over that September to November time. Okay. Fertilizing of the plant is uh, in the summertime. Use a low fertilizer rate, one teaspoon to a gallon of whatever it is you want to use. Typically it's a even numbered fertilizer, but everybody's got their own particular preference with that. Uh, but it needs fertilizer during the summer growing months. Once the day length starts to get uh, below 12 hours, that's when you stop fertilizing. It's got enough and it needs to start producing buds and it needs to do this without the help of fertilizer. Okay? And then watering is the same as usual. You water it, let it free drain, let it start to dry down and then rehydrate it again. If you do not water it, or sorry, I should say, if you overwater it, in other words, you're putting it in a saucer and you don't let it free drain, one of the first indications that it's overwatered with will be that the plant will begin to droop. And not just gently, it'll be a, almost a 50% plant collapse and that will happen within 24, 48 hours. They're very, very sensitive to overwatering. So that's very important to allow for free drainage. Another indication of overwatering is that the leaves will start to go yellow and then they'll start to fall off again very, very quickly within three to four days. And this is typically given the plant root rot. And at this point in the game, if it's got root rot, you might as well throw it away and start all over again. Thank you, Chris, for all of your helpful information. I hope our viewers have learned some useful tips on how to care for their Christmas cactus. To learn more about plant care, please visit rbg.ca or look up RBG's YouTube channel and search up RBG at home for more videos on plant care. Have a wonderful day and happy holidays.